Hello everybody, it's Cat Jacks again, and welcome to something a little bit different. I picked up a, I'd say rare, but unusual, I guess sort of rare, unusual item. It is a two-player uh, starter set from Duel Masters, which was like a different card game that didn't really take off in its inception, died off, and then got sort of popular after it died. But it's an old card game, probably... It's Wizards of the Coast, so the same people that make Magic the Gathering, yeah, made this, at least the card game side of things. I don't know if that because it had an anime, well, it had a cartoon and cartoon network, which is basically an anime. But, um, carefully open this, because I'd like to preserve the packaging just in case. Now, inside, you get a quick start guide, a membership offer for D-Max, which is something to do with Dawn Masters, which is probably defunct now. Uh, I'm guessing two uh, di dual maps. Heck. Ooh. A copy of the advanced rules. That's actually quite a thick rule book. It even has a little tab on it to stop you from reading it prematurely. And a little mini comic, because they did actually have like a big comic book at one point, which I bought a few things of. And you get heck, you get the promo, which is Rothus the Traveler, which is some sort of armor beast thing. And you get two decks, which is green and red, I think. So we'll open those up. I presume that these can then be combined into one proper size deck. I think. And I'll have to find my other dual monsters. I have, I think, like, maybe a pack's worth of dual monsters stuff. You know, Burning Mane, Trihorn Shepherd, Dome Shell, Forest Hornet. These are like insects on the Forest Hornet. Golden Wing Striker, Bronze Arm Tribe, Holy Ore. Okay, so this is like white cards. Um, Moonlight Flash, Lock of... F I'm just going to put those there. Two of that. Sonic Wing. Something of Lightning. Uh, these have such hard names to pronounce. There's two of that one. Emerald Grass, I can... Emerald Splash you! And Something Something, the Sky Guardian, which looks like a... Kind of looks like the Guardians from... Um, not the Guardians. The... Flying things from Halo 4. Yeah. That's one deck, I guess. And then this is red and something else, I presume. Maybe red and white. Uh, Draglide. Super explosive Vulcan Canadon. Two of it. Or Blast. Okay, this has green stuff. Dome Shell. Dome Shell. Fear Fang. Fear Fang. Bronze Arm Tribe. Burning Main, Tornado Flame, <clears throat> Meteor Saw, Crimson Hammer, Crimson Hammer, Burning Power, Fire Sweeper, Burning Hellion, times two, times three, Immortal Baron Vorg, times two. So I presume that like these two then make one, and then I presume you can make like, them in, into one deck, roughly forty cards. <clears throat> but more than that is you get a booster pack. I would do a review on that if I knew how to play the card game, by the way, which I don't, which is why I bought it, so you have to learn how to play it. And this gives you ten additional cards. And some weird thing, which I'll presumably keep because it has something to do with something bigger. Uh, so we have Twilight Guardian Panagia's Song, uh, Dark, something Dark Raven Shadow of Grief. Meteor Saw, Candy Drop, Cyber Virus, Burning Mane, Bloody Squito. That just sounds like a weird name. Uh, some little Jade Tree thing. Aqua Huculus, which is a rare, I think. Maybe. Liquid People. Hmm. And a Steel Smasher, which is presumably a rare as well. This creature can attack planes. And based upon the typings, I would say that it probably takes 
a lot of inspiration from its sister game, Magic, in that it probably had various types that do stuff and things. But um, that was just a brief little cool thing that I found on the internet, and a card game that sadly is no longer in production at all, that not a lot of people really know about compared to the other big ones. Not even a lot of Magic players maybe even know about it. But I'd like to learn how to play it, and I might take it to conventions and such, and once I learn and teach others how to play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video here, don't forget to leave a like if you did. If you're a person who plays or had played a Duel Master Mass in the past, leave a comment below, tell me how to play, perhaps some strategies, maybe just relive some old memories. Let's go, Jetsack, signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.